right. Here we are, Hygiene Elevated Conversations and Innovations Podcast. Um, tonight, it's going to be just myself and Amanda. Hello there, Joffrey. Hey, Amanda. I know, we've just got some fun updates. Let everyone know what's kind of going on, and um, this podcast will probably be pretty quick, pretty short. Short and sweet. Yes. Always nice. Sweet. Okay. Um, Amanda, I first want to share with everybody that we actually have two podcasts lined up for next week. The first one is going to be with the Diamond Coaches, and they are amazing. They're, They're out a of, lot of fun. They are. They're out in Boston, and they are the cutest duo who is just dedicating so much time and energy into helping new graduates navigate the field and providing that mentorship. And I'm excited to hear more about the programs and the different like options. I know they've got a couple like package options available for hygienists. Um, but I also am looking forward to asking them like how, like, you know, what inspired the, the whole project, what inspired diamond coaches to be a thing so i'm i'm excited to listen to them and then at the end of the week we're gonna have uh, dr jen and her husband peter on the show amanda this one's a little more your thing you have it you tell us about this one i am very excited um to get to interview them on a podcast next week um so as a lot of people know um there's i don't want to say a huge paradigm shift but there's a lot of interest um, coming about in hydroxyapatite and alternatives to toothpaste. You know, whether you're, you know, on the homeopathic side of things or you're just kind of a little skeptical of fluoride, the reality is we still need a lot of remineralization in our toothpastes. And so Dr. Jen has made a hydroxyapatite toothpaste. And I know there's a ton out there on the market, but she has actually found the right formula for the size of the particles of the hydroxyapatite, um, as well as the percentage. And that's a pretty important thing um, when you're dealing with remineralization because your enamel has to, um, you know, there has to be a certain size for your enamel to accept it. So I'm super excited to hear about her inspiration for um, her process of how she kind of met the two worlds, the alternative side of dentistry and then she has a traditional fluoride and hydroxyapatite toothpaste as well and her floss is silk so for people that are like looking for the um, forever chemical free plastic free floss it's silk and it's awesome so I'm very excited to interview them and just get to know them and learn more about just their passion and what brought their products to market. So I'm very excited for that one. I'm looking forward to it too. I mean, we got those samples when we were at convention. Um, yes. And my kids will love it. They <laughs> love that toothpaste. My son's already asked for more. And, and that's kind of what I want to like, just put out there. Like our podcast, we're only talking about stuff we like, stuff we mm -hmm. believe in, like, and this is definitely one of those products. So, and I could see you lighting up talking about it. <laughs> so I'm really pumped for that episode. <laughs> I get to nerd out a little bit, but yeah. My husband also really likes that toothpaste. Um, I have tried some other hydroxyapatite based toothpastes and they have amazing flavors, but he hated the texture of it. He just didn't feel like there was enough, um, you know, coarse material in there to really clean the teeth. So he loves the texture of this toothpaste. So he, if my husband's a fan, again, your kids are a fan. That's a win. <laughs> Husband and kids. We've got the two. And then um, next month on October 6th, the Utah Dental Hygiene Association is hosting their annual convention. Yay. They have some awesome speakers lined up. Um, we're not speaking, but we will have a booth at the convention where we will get to network with other hygienists, discuss our podcast, get some cool ideas from our local hygienists in the community, and drum roll, 
Amanda and I will be talking <laughs> our very first hygiene apparel line. Woo! Yes, soft launch. Um, we've decided all of this merch is like a passion project. It's a passion project. Yes, a passion project. It'll be a limited edition. When you see our designs, just know if you, you can catch it while you see it because it will not come back up. So we'll go into the vault and new designs will come up. Um, Amanda, you haven't seen the finished Ooh. merch yet, but I want to show it. Okay. Check out this <laughs> very cute dad hat. <laughs> that is very you. I, right? I just, I thought the embroidery turned out so cute. It looks really good. That's a very vibrant pink. Okay. We, we created that fall line t-shirt together. Oh, can you see it? That's fun. Yes. No, I see the skull yes. with the pretty flowers. Yes. And then our um, album cover inspired shirt. So cute. <laughs> I prevention specialist. On the back, our tour t-shirt continues, but with um, dental codes and bacteria and appointment sequences. And just so people know, if you turn that back around, we didn't take a random picture. That is the one and only Cooper. Yes, <laughs> so. Cooper. And that's my hand and my watch right there. <laughs> So oh, we have we have consent for this. I'm with our photographer, he did an amazing pic. I I can't wait to show him how the shirt turned out. So it's I love that picture. It's so funny, especially so, on a shirt. <laughs> I know. And then okay, I love this one too. Here's our crew neck sweater. So cute. I know this is like the uh, I love it. I cannot wait. It's to a vibe. With the other, vibe. I think it's just a really cute first launch line. So I'm excited about it. If we end up meeting tomorrow, Amanda, I will have one of everything for you. Yay! Yes. And then, oh, hang on. Miss Honey here needs to get out of the room. You know, I saw, I, I didn't let my dogs in the room because I knew they would be ridiculous. My husband is outside mowing the lawn and they would just be watching him the whole time. I know. Well, <laughs> she was being a little stubborn and didn't want to get out of the room when we started. Mm. And I had a feeling she'd make me so sorry about that. Oh. Um, Amanda, do you have anything to add about the convention? Did I miss anything on that one? Um, I, I just want to say a comment about hygiene conventions. I feel like they've come such a long way from when... I mean, not to make myself sound as old as I am, but 15 years ago, hygiene conventions had like no booths and got like no attention from any of these sponsors. But like so many um, vendors are there now and they reach out to hygienists and there's just so much more just available and resources like you're finally being valued as providers. Um, and not just, oh, you're not the doctor, you're not the one that orders, but they realize that you have value now and that you do have a say. You may not buy anything right there at the, the conference, but you do have a say in the office. So uh, I, I really love that. So I'm excited to see who else is there. And I'm excited to be able to bring some merchandise to our fellow hygienists. I, me too. Oh, and we're going to have really cute stickers. We have made some very cute stickers. And, very fun. Um, the bags that we will be handing out are gorgeous. So it's a vibe. I, it is. The whole thing's a vibe. And um, it's just funny to think, like, you know, where we started from as hygienists. I would have never imagined in my wildest dreams we would have, like, booths at conventions and networking with hygienists and, I love it. I love being part of that community and supporting and bringing like good vibes and good energy um, for the hygienists. I just, I love where our careers have evolved to. You're not even just rolling your eyes when you hear the word network anymore. It's now like, yes, who, who can I meet? Yeah. Who can I make a connection with? And yeah, no, I totally agree with you. It's, it's a whole different thing. Um, what else? What else is coming down the pipes? Yes. Okay. Um, 
there is going to be a presentation at Top Golf where I will be doing a lecture on um, leadership and persuasion for dental hygienists. The date is pending still. So as soon as I've got a firm date, they may be October 13th, it might end up going into November. Um, but I am just so excited about it. Signature Dental Partners will be um, hosting the event and they're inviting like all their hygienists in Utah and then they'll open it up to some other hygienists in the community you can come and golf and, and listen to me get nervous to do a talk in front of everyone. <laughs> I, first off, I hope that they push it into November so that I can be there because I'm going on vacation the day that you're planning on uh, doing okay, your presentation. Uh, so I would love to be there for it. I'll try to push it to November. I'll see what I, I'll see what kind of weight I have. I'll see if I can get the November so date. You, I can be like the one friendly face. Like I can be the nodder in the group <laughs> that's like, I'm here with you. I'm not zoned out on my phone. I'm here. I got you. So. Well, I mean, I, I speak to the hygiene students frequently, and I love it. This is going to be my first crowd of hygienists, providers that have been in here for a long, long time. Yeah. So I'm just hoping that they like me as much as the students do. I'm like, <laughs> Well, I mean, it's a free event, right? Mm -hmm. It's a free event at Top, Top Golf. Um, there's food. Um, there's CEs. Is this for a CE? I believe that there's going to be a CE happening. Yes. So, I mean, free food, top golf, CE. Hello. <laughs> That's all I need <laughs> to show up. I am so happy that you'll be my plus one. <laughs> <laughs> if it's in November, yes, I will be there. And then we will play some Angry Birds top golf because that's the fun part. I'm with you. I I enjoy top golf quite a bit. Yes. Um, I enjoy golfing actually. Um I have not golfed lately, but I did get a set of clubs for my birthday last year. Oh wow. So last year, um Cooper and I when it was summer vacation would just go get a bucket together and like just go hit balls. Um but we've been too busy this summer so we didn't make it out, but come fall maybe. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, the last thing, um, Amanda, the, I'm excited actually to talk about this one a lot. Um, Hygiene Elevated is launching a hygiene program school tour where we will go to hygiene programs around the country and do a lecture for them. And um, I just feel so lucky to have this sponsor who's helping me get to all these schools. And I'm just excited to s spread my message to all the hygiene students, these future hygienists. Um, the presentation is Barbie themed right now. So we <laughs> might have to uh, revamp it when Barbie dies down, but it's still pretty hot right now. So I think um, the cute memes will be relevant for a while. So it's is it still Signature Dental Partners that's sponsoring the Hygiene Elevated presentations? Yes. Um, so Kim McCready um, at Signature Dental Partners has been just phenomenal to work with and supporting this um, program to just go and empower these hygiene students before graduation. That's awesome. So that's not even just in like Salt Lake or specifically Utah. It's nationwide that they're kind of investing in hygiene elevated to go and speak to these hygiene students right yes we can go anywhere in the country so i am looking forward to hearing schools reach out to us i will be in contact with hygiene schools um the presentation amanda is so fun i talk about undiagnosed perio I talk about how to discuss periodontal disease with patients. I give a couple examples of like real things that you experience that could be awkward and then have, and then like a really nice, easy transition to like educate the patient quickly and seamlessly and get through that awkward moment. Um, yeah. 
And then I also talked to them about how to have a high acceptance rate with their fluoride, uh, walk the students, you know, share my journey with them from graduation, hygiene school. Um, you know, I have feel like I've done it all, you know, temping, private, <laughs> corporate, DSO, like, I, and I just to give them my experience in each one of those settings. Um, and you weren't like, passive in any of those i would say i was passive in all of those experiences you were more like active like okay what is the goal here like you've always had that business mindset in no matter what setting that you were in and that is that is something that not a lot of hygienists have so i think you have such a unique perspective um to give and to help really give um i think something that a lot of hygiene schools don't do and that's the business side of dental hygiene and the sales aspect of dental hygiene. So I think you bring so much to the table. Thank you, Amanda. Yeah, you nailed it. Like that's kind of what it is. It's talking about dentistry being a business, um, but also running a business as a provider, like running that hygiene department successfully. And mm -hmm. the, the big thing is Production follows value. So it's all about as long ensuring you're providing value to your patients. That's all you have to worry about. The numbers will just follow like effortlessly, right? But it is just understanding like the it is the business side, right? The business yeah. side of it all, like payroll, overhead, all, all of those expenses. Um, and then another thing I love telling the students about is investing in their retirement how important it is to have that 401k how important it is to be saving um i just don't think that that gets talked about in hygiene school either like this yeah. is your career your profession you're here to have a good life but the life doesn't end when you stop working like you need to have a plan and so i just try to encourage the students to invest in themselves um throughout their career and I think the other thing too, I was going to make a point about not the business side isn't so much like if you're interested in going in business, it's almost like being aware of it and also how to leverage that to your advantage. And especially when it comes time to ask for raises or asking for new equipment and being able to pull those numbers and say, look, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm bringing in. I'm not asking a wild request i'm asking you to treat me like a provider and i have the numbers to back it up so it, it really like you said it's about empowering hygienists and especially new grads you need all the empowerment you can get because you don't know anything yet you've passed boards and you're ready to take on the world and you have no idea what that really means yet so i i love that i think it's it's fantastic so so Signature Dental Partners is sponsoring this whole extravaganza. Does that include lunch? Yes, we're bringing lunch, <laughs> gifts to the students. Um, you know, the last school we I did like a little candle and some face masks. There was like a notebook and a pen. Some of the cool stickers we designed went oh, all in like really cute gift bag for the students. And the the purpose of the gift for the students was like a symbolic message like you're here to take care of people but in order to do that you have to make sure you're taking care of yourself oh. so i was advocating for like some self-care for the the students too like that's good yes so i'm like i'm here for the providers you know they got my heart <laughs> yes no i think that's always been your your angle is it's taking care of the providers and taking care of the patients because that's that's who we advocate for. Yes, and um, speaking of students, I was a hygiene student messaged me on LinkedIn and just said, "Hey, would you be willing to come and be a patient for me?" Oh wow! And he he had just said, "I'd really love to have." A hygienist in the chair, someone who could provide some feedback. And I thought, what a clever way to get a patient. Um, first of all, I, I wish I thought of that. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> Who's going to say no? What hygienist will I, I say, couldn't no? say no? I said yes. So today I went, I got quad one cleaned. Um, I go back next Friday for the other three <laughs> quads. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but he did a phenomenal job. He was just. He probed so you and explored. Well, that mm -hmm. sounds bad, but probed and explored <laughs> and did all the things. He did. So that supposed to FMX taken. Um, I don't think I've experienced such a thorough oral cancer screening since being a student. So I really appreciated that. That was cool. Um, they, you know, the blood pressure cuff, the old school blood pressure oh. thing. He did. He did all of it. Um, but I just thought, like, what a clever idea as a student to get on LinkedIn and message other hygienists to come be patients. Um, I thought it was such a cool idea. I'm like, why didn't I have that idea? Was LinkedIn around? Well, it definitely wasn't around in my day. But <laughs> what about your? Was LinkedIn around eight years ago, seven years ago? Me? I don't. I don't know. I I, I didn't have one at the time. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny yeah i i would have never thought about that either but yeah social media how do you use social media to get patients in the chair as a student i mean that just falls in line with the whole networking thing <laughs> that's true uh very true that's so funny well that all sounds so exciting <laughs> repping the merch <laughs> That's fun. I'm I'm so excited for the convention. So where is the convention at and what are the dates again? Um, it's gonna be October 6th and so that's a Friday. So is yeah. it just Friday? Yes. Let's see. And it's like it's in Southtown. I wanna say it is. Um I know it's close to my Volkswagen dealership. I looked that up. I just pulled them up online and as I was like scrolling, look at, uh, and it's got all their speakers. Hold on, hold on. Oh, that's us. How do you know? <laughs> okay, but back to the important stuff. Where is it at? Let's see. Okay, so the um, Slick Miller campus in Sandy. You're, yep. Perfect. And that's going to be from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. They still have tickets available. They are expecting 400 hygienists to be at the convention. Oh, wow. So just, yeah, all local Utah hygienists going to be in, will be in there. And Did you happen to find out how many attended last year? About 400. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's really cool. That's so exciting. I'm I'm excited to get to see the merchandise in real life, and I'm excited to see um, the response at the convention. Because it was so fun when we were at RDH Under One Roof in Nashville, getting to see all of the fun merchandise and people just going crazy for it. So I definitely hope it's well-received here in Utah. I hope so too. I mean, I love the designs and it, it just yeah. because I'm biased. We talked about this merch line being like limited edition stuff. It really is. There's only about, um, I want to say 22 of every design. And then um, for our next batch of designs, I've been looking into working with some um, local artists here in Utah to help us design. Okay are the next limited edition, right? So we have some really cool stuff in the pipeline here. It's gonna be awesome, end of the year. Just gonna roll right in. I don't even think it's gonna feel like the year even ended. It's just gonna That's just true. keep going. Um, if we have a really positive turnout at the UDHA, you guys can catch us at the UDA convention in February, February 1st. They changed the dates this year. It used to be like the end of March, and now it's like February. I know it's much earlier. Um, February first is it's birthday, gonna be so <laughs> most importantly, Joffrey's birthday. <laughs> so she's gonna be working on her birthday, but it's gonna be so cold. 
The convention center is always cold anyway, but in February, I can't even imagine. So we'll definitely have to put more hoodies and sweatshirts in the in the works. Yeah, that's for sure. Maybe even some socks. And a cute beanie. Cute beanie for sure. <laughs> for sure. No. I love it. Okay. So um that's that's it. That's it for today. Sounds good. All right. Thanks guys. See you next time. Ha, ha, ha.